Alrighty, so again, it means a lot to be chatting with you because you're one of my favorite underdog drivers. So yeah, where are you originally from? Uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Nice. Yeah, sounds like a pretty cool place. What's it like living there? Uh, it's a it's a good town. It's, uh, it's just big enough not to know everybody, but um, you, you know a lot of people, and you normally you know it's a it's a good clean town to live in to raise your kids in for sure. That's pretty cool. Is that where you're at right now, or are you in North Carolina? Uh, I'm in North Carolina right now. I, uh, I I moved here in 2014. Ah, okay, got it. What made you get into motor racing? Uh, my dad raced before I did, just at the local short track level. So I was always a always around it, and always uh, loved it ever since I uh, I can remember. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, when did you make your first start again? Uh, I made my first start in uh, in go karts when I was eight years old, and then uh, I started racing full size cars when I was fourteen. Okay, got it. Pretty cool. When did you make your first NASCAR start? Uh, I made my first NASCAR start uh, in the Xfinity Series at Iowa Speedway in uh, 2011. And uh, I finished 20th that race. Ah, pretty cool. Was that like your hometown track? Uh, it wasn't. It's my home track for the NASCAR world, but uh, my my home home track would be uh, Hawkeye Downs. That's where I, I grew up racing at. But uh, I raced at Iowa Speedway since I was uh, 15 years old. All righty. Pretty cool. How did you get your ride with Archie St. Hilaire's team again? Uh, I started um, in, I think it was 2010, um, I got called with the, wanting to know if I'd be interested in driving for uh, Benny Gordon in the USA Pro Cup Series at uh, Iowa Speedway, and uh, in that race, Benny was also racing, and I was in his backup car, and uh, I passed him in his backup car, and then... Uh, he, he had me do a few more races with them uh, the following year, and I got a few holes and, and track records and, and ran really good in, in the races as well. And then uh, he, he introduced me to Archie St. Hilaire, and then that's how I got into, um, into the series. That's pretty cool. Uh, what was driving for Benny Gordon like? Uh, it was good. He was a, a hardcore uh, a racer and wanted to always do whatever it took to think to go fast. Good to hear. And what was it like driving the Can Am car between 2014 to 16? Uh, it was good. It uh, you know, at any time you can be in, in the Cup Series and, and gain experience and, and race that that level is uh is a good thing. And I, uh, you know, I, I learned a lot in between that between that time and we and we had a few good runs. Good to hear. That's very good to hear. Uh, did you ever meet any other competitors like Patrick Carpentier and Bobby Labonte when you drove the car again? Uh, I, met, I met Bobby. Uh, I never got a chance to meet uh, meet Patrick, but it was uh, you know it was a, it was a good rotation of, of drivers for sure. All righty, that's good to hear. What was driving for BK Racing like? Uh, you know, it definitely had its up and downs, and there was some financial hardship with the team obviously but uh the, the one thing that i really enjoyed was uh doing the daytona 500 with them that was probably the funnest two weeks of my uh racing career um we we didn't have a car that was fast by itself but we had a car that was uh really fast in the in the draft it was something that we ran really well in the in the race with and unfortunately got caught up in, in a few a few wrecks but we still got a, a decent finish Finished out and finished uh, twenty uh, twenty third in the race, so that was uh, that was a great weekend. And then we also finished uh, seventh with Jimmy Means that same weekend in the Xfinity race. Oh, now that you brought that up, I must ask, what was Jimmy's reaction to that top ten finish? Uh, you know, he was he was happy. He was, uh, you know, we I think we were second or third with one to go, so we always wanted a a little bit more, but. He, 
you know, any team we could get a top 10 with that small and under budget team. It was a really good, <clears throat> really good weekend. And uh, we, when we got fifth at Talladega, that was uh, <laughs> an amazing, amazing week of sports there. We, we barely made the race and I think qualified second to last and then uh, ended up finishing fifth. Uh, that was, uh, that was an amazing day. Pretty cool. What was driving for Tommy Baldwin's team like in its final season? Uh, it was good. Um, it, when I drove for them, they have already started the merger with uh, with Premium, but Tommy was my uh, was my crew chief, and that was uh, a lot of fun. He was a guy that was uh, always really really competitive, and also would do anything it took to go fast. Good to hear. How did the Xfinity deal come together when you drove the 35 for Archie? Uh, it was a deal where I drove for, you know, Archie in the past and uh, was actually hoping to uh, race for Archie that year in the Cup Series, but they were um, unable to find a, a second charter, so we weren't able to uh, make that happen. But our sponsor wanted to the, the move forward and uh, was fine with the Xfinity Series, so we went ahead and... Uh, and did that. All righty, good to hear. So, and you said that the thirty that the Go Green Racing team is shut down, right? Uh, correct. And when when we did do that deal, it was also a um, a joint effort with uh, Bobby Dodder out of his shop. All righty, got it. And that's SS Greenlight Racing, right? Yep. All righty. And uh, what was driving for Jimmy Means's team like? Uh, you know, I learned a ton on and off the track from Jimmy. He was just a great old school racer that's been in the sport for a long time and, and always figured out a way to make it work with or without a sponsor. And that was something that I definitely uh, admired about Jimmy. And he kind of, you know, if it wasn't for Jimmy, I wouldn't be in the sport today. And, uh, you know, he, he helped me a ton. I feel like I helped him a ton, too, when we first started. We were mainly just a... Uh, start and park team and then we started to make more races and then slowly find uh, more and more sponsorship and grew into uh, a race team that that race each and every weekend all right that's pretty cool how long were you with the 52 team again uh i got my first start with them in 2012 but raced with them full time um from 2014 through 2007 all righty and uh, what was the reason you switched over to MBM again? Uh, I was actually supposed to race uh, full-time on the Cup Series that year with uh, Archie, but unfortunately our uh, our sponsor uh, didn't follow their commitments and uh, let us know late, late in the off-season. And uh, I was looking for a home, and, and luckily Carl Long over at MBM had a, had a home for me, and and Carl called me up, and we're able to put something together, which uh, was also a great um, because I was worried that I wasn't going to have anything that year. So uh, thankful that Carl was able to able to have me on for that year. All righty, that's good to hear. Uh, what was driving for Starcom Racing like? Uh, it was good. They were, you know, a new a new team, and uh, we were all learning, and we we're able to put together some really good competitive runs uh, at the super speedways which were a lot of fun that's good to hear glad you're having fun in the cup series yeah so how did you get your ride with rick ware's team uh i, I raced with rick a few times before for a few one-offs and we're talking a lot last year about some ideas we had and seeing if uh, we could work well together and everything kind of lined up and we're able to put it all all together, which was something I was I am still really excited about to be able to race full time in the you know the NASCAR Cup Series and uh, and do the Daytona 500 again and, and all that stuff. So it's uh, it's been it's been a good year uh, so far, and hopefully we can keep that going once we uh, we get back racing. That's good to hear, and hopefully this virus scare ends pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. So what was your reaction to learning that you would become a dad of twin babies? Uh, it was something, uh, <laughs> I was uh, nervous, but also very excited. Uh, 
Uh, you're you're cutting. You're kind of cutting. S sorry to interrupt, bud. Could you say that again? You're kind of cutting in and out a little bit. Yeah, it was uh, it was something I was definitely. Uh, neither of us were really um, planning for to have a baby yet, and especially not twins. But uh, it was something that we we're really excited for once we we did find out. And uh, you know, the twins uh, they're they're doing great today, and we definitely won't have it any other way. And they're a bunch of fun. That's good to hear. What was it like being in the hospital when your children were being delivered? Uh, it was definitely nerve-wracking and exciting, to, to say the least. All right, Ian. I'll ask this again in case you finally found something, but what was your first funniest moment of being a parent, if you can think of one? Uh, there's kind of too many on that yet. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, what are some of the challenges you faced as a new father? Uh, you know, just learning how to uh, uh, take care of, of uh, babies and push two of them at the same time, but then also learning how to uh, manage your time well enough to still do your do your day job um, all at the same time. It definitely can uh, can be a daunting task. All righty, pretty cool. And again, uh, who changes the most diapers between you and your wife? Uh, definitely she does. She's home more with them than I am, but uh, we definitely, when we're both home, definitely, uh, she does one and I normally do the other. Alrighty, makes sense. So what is driving for Rick, Rick Ware been like? Uh, it's been good. It's been, been a lot of fun and we've been uh, growing and, and communicating better uh, each and every week and getting faster each and every week. So it's uh, it's been really good. Good to hear. And uh, what's your favorite racing movie between Days of Thunder and Talladega Nights? Uh, definitely Days of Thunder. All righty. Pretty cool. And I'm just going to say it again because I want this in my recording. But I like, again, how the, how the team owner helps Cole win the race despite being from a different team at the end. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So what does your future look like as far as racing? Uh, hopefully good. It's something that I hope to be able to continue to do for many years to come. And uh, you know, it's, it's something that I think I'll be, be able to do finally here in the Cup Series full time. And, and hopefully I'll be able to you know, continue to grow uh, at Rick's and maybe even uh, you know, other teams in, in the future. But uh, Rick's Rick where racing is definitely a good home. All righty, that's good to hear. So, yeah, that's all I have for now, and I'll let okay. you know if it goes through this time, although I'm confident okay. it will. Okay, all right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Joey, and I'll text yep. you if it went through, all right? Okay, thank you. No Bye. problem. Bye. All righty, turned out very well. Hopefully it went through this time.